Mounds, BBG, Chapter 23, Sentence 10. Long sentence, but hopefully, you know, most of these words are so comfortable to you by now, uh, number one. Number two, you probably know the passage, a very, very well-known passage from uh, Matthew 7, and of course, uh, very often abused. So, um, you know, hopefully you're ahead of the game in, in many ways as you look at a long sentence like this. And uh, I'll try and pick it apart for you a little bit and, and try and get through it as, uh, fairly quickly as well. So uh, many, now again, you got an adjective with nothing else around it. So, um, you know, while we can say many and we understand what we mean by that, I would ask you guys to tell me many what, you know, um, it's not many things. It's clearly not many things because many things won't say. So, you know, that's, an, that's the verb you're looking at. Um, so, you know, in this case, I would say many people uh, would be a fair translation because, again, you're dealing with a substantival adjective and you need to let the reader know uh, the gender of that adjective somehow or another. And I would take this as a, a generic masculine kind of thing, right? So, um, you know, if you it, treat it as a, a standard masculine, many men, but no, it's it's just, you know, many people, uh, you know, taken generically. So um, many people, and then you've got this verb, you know, you probably can look at the, the, the last several letters, which I'm trying to grab here. It's really tough. There you go. And you recognize that as a third plural, right? But then you say, well, I got a third plural, but what's it from? Well, hopefully you've, again, you've, those freaky stem changes, uh, you know that Lego in the present goes to arrow in the future. So as soon as you see this, uh, that should tell you that it's it's the plural, uh, I'm sorry, it's the uh, future of, of Lego, and it's the third plural in form. So they will say, they will say from Lego, uh, but it's many. So many will say, or many people will say, and then you got the dative of the pronoun here, to me, uh, prepositional phrase, in that day, right, with a cana from a canos. So in that day, Lord, Lord, that's easy enough. Uh, and then if all we do, you know, what they're going to say is, and here's your quote. So let's take the quote as a whole, get down to the end, because again, part of what you ought to be doing is looking down to the end of it and saying, is it a question or a statement? Because that's going to affect your translation. And here you got a question, so you want to, you know, allow that to modify how you translate. But uh, not in the your name we did something right. And here I gave you the verb, so you can kind of see. I gave you the lexical form. So you know that's an augment, right? And then you look at this and you see, oh, I got a sigma. That almost looks like a future, but wait a minute, got an augment. It's not that. Guess what? That's the way we want to look at that. We want to look at that as an aorist, okay? Um, morpheme there. So, uh, and then, of course, um, sorry, first, uh, first plural, we. So we prophesied, right? Uh, then as a question, though, you're going to say something like, and you've got the ooh to, to negate it, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not prophesy in your name and in the your name demons? And then here you got another one. Where you go, okay, I, I, if I look at this and I'm thinking balo, then I would, ha I would have ek balo, which clarifies the fact that that's an augment, right? So, and I also have a stem change here. So then what we have is uh, we cast out in the past, right? So we cast out demons. So, and in your name cast out, cast out demons or we cast out demons, right? and in your name uh, and then here you have a, a phrase you know same endings um, 
same ending. So what you've got is many miracles, many miracles. And then you have the next verb. We got an augment. You got a saw. You got a first person plural ending. So we did, right? Or And in your name did, we did many miracles. So again, going back and treating it as a question, uh, we'll change the way we shape all those phrases. But let's let's continue on, and, and then we'll come back and, and read it all together. And then, and then here, hopefully you know the the verb homologeo by now is I confess. You know, would be homologeo, and mounts is is saying you know something more like say, but. Um, Really, it's from from the verb that we would typically translate translate as I confess. So I will confess to them or I will say to them. And here what tells you is if you know it's from homologeo, when you have, you know, you say homologeo, then you got a contract verb, which tells them that they elongated into an a to here uh, with a connecting vowel. Then you got the sigma tells you that it's future. And then you got the first person singular ending. So that's the way we pull all that apart. And you say, I will confess or I will say to them that. And it's, you know, what will I say? I will say that. And remember, you know, you've got a verb of communication here. So the content is going to be marked by the hot T. You're going to translate it as that. Never. And then egnon, y'all. But egnon, hopefully you know by now. Uh, you look at that and you go, you know, gamma nu, you know, ginema, gnosko, ginao, you get all those gamma nu verbs. But in this case, um, you know, first thing is to say, well, if I don't know any better uh, at this stage of the game, you know, you go to the, lam uh, the, the laminated sheets and you look at the those gamma verbs and you kind of go, OK, I got to look. No, I got to look. I'm seeing an augment here. Right. I'm seeing an augment. So then I got to look down and see the gamma verbs and say, well, which one of them in the aorist form has anything that looks like that? Lo and behold, Gnosko has a form in the aorist that looks exactly like that. In fact, that's what it looks like. Um, and of course, that would make this the first singular. So uh, I I knew. Right. Never y'all. Right, so that I never knew y'all. Okay, so then we go back to the beginning. Many people will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, did we not in your name prophesy and in your name cast out demons with the idea of we cast out demons and in your name uh, do many miracles and then I will confess or say to them that I never knew y'all. 